One week before the CWC finale, we make a pit stop in the semifinals, live from the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. We welcome you to the Cruiserweight Classic Week 7, where tonight the semifinals of this 16-man Eliminator Tournament will take place. Two epic collisions set for right here this afternoon in Manhattan, New York. Coming up in moments to kick us off. Former NXT Heritage Cup winner, Nathan Frazier, set to battle it out with the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano. And coming up a little bit later this afternoon in your main event it is an interpromotional battle as Monday Night Raw's Ilya Dragunov goes one-on-one -on -one with the one and only Ricochet. The semifinals of the CWC are set. Who's moving on to the finale? Seven afternoons from right now. Let's kick things off here in the Hammerstein Ballroom as Nathan Fraser will have his hands full with this man, the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano defeating Akira Tozawa in the first round and defeating Dominic Mysterio in the quarterfinals. And now goes one-on-one -on -one with a man who has had a breakout performance in this tournament over the last number of weeks, that being NXT's Nathan Frazier who's looking to solidify a permanent spot for himself on the main roster, whether that be on Monday Night Raw or where the Cruiserweight division lies on Friday Night SmackDown. But nonetheless, Gargano, Frazier, Dragunov, Ricochet. We started with 16. We are down to four. And only two men can move on to next week's Cruiserweight Classic finale and battle it out to get their name in the annals of history as the second ever winner of this prestigious tournament. Of course, a future opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship on the line as well throughout this tournament. Could it be one of these gentlemen challenging for the Cruiserweight Gold in the near future? And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier defeating Wesley in the first round and Angel Garza of Los Lotharios in the quarters. And now certainly his biggest challenge to date with a former NXT Grand Slam champion and a man who earlier this year was one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions in Johnny Gargano. Nathan Frazier has been a breakout performer throughout this tournament as we mentioned. But not only the biggest match in this tournament, but the biggest match of his career as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Gargano. The semifinals are set, and we are set to kick them off here in Manhattan, New York. Gargano, Frazier, the bell has sounded. Who is moving on to the finale next week? We'll be live next Saturday afternoon, October the 7th. 3 p.m. Eastern time as we are right now as Nathan Frazier going for the quick pinfall over Gargano. This has been a grueling tournament over the last seven weeks, and you got to believe that these two men are starting to feel the fatigue of not only their Cruiserweight Classic battles, but of course Johnny Gargano, hot off the heels of No Mercy two weeks ago, where he teamed up against Imperium in a six-man tag team matchup, and then just last week competing against Dominic Mysterio. Gargano looking good, trying to get some early momentum over Frazier. Nathan Frazier, as we mentioned, an amazing performance in this tournament so far, but Johnny Gargano not interested in Frazier's desire to move on. Tope Suicida to the outside. Nathan Frazier, a former student of the current WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins, certainly gonna be a future star here in the WWE, whether that be on Raw or SmackDown, but Johnny Gargano not looking to allow Frazier to build his career off Gargano's behalf. A spot in the finale is on the line. And of course, next week, a future opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship will hang in the balance as well as the fight continues on the outskirts of the squared circle. Nathan Frazier showed some early promise, but Gargano has turned the table since that opening bell. Gargano looking sharp in the opening moments. He has watched this young man, Nathan Frazier, take this tournament by storm. Gargano not looking to be another stepping stone in Frazier's climb to the top. So far, so good for the man they call Johnny Wrestling. 
Gargano's got so many ways to beat you. Inside the squared circle, and Nathan Frazier, who loves to take things to the air as we've seen throughout this tournament, looking for that high-risk maneuvers to take him to the promised land. Now it's Nathan Frazier fighting an uphill battle, just trying to get the momentum back on his side in this semi-final bout. As he sends Gargano into the turnbuckles. And Nathan Frazier, little combination that we have seen throughout this tournament so far. Frazier sticking to what is work, what is what worked in this tournament, just as he does right there, as he cradles himself up and soars through the skies of Manhattan, New York. Gargano just squashed on the outside of the ring, but might not have been enough to keep Johnny Wrestling down. Nathan Frazier, has, Nathan Frazier has utilized that Phoenix splash inside the squared circle to secure some victories throughout this tournament. Will that be the same result tonight? Sorgano on spaghetti legs. Nathan Frazier looked like he was going for a springboard there. Didn't get what he wanted, and Gargano going to take advantage. We call it high risk, high reward for nothing. Not easy maneuvers to execute, but Johnny Gargano gets his wish off the springboard. The Poison Rana, and only a one count there. But although the three may not have been heard throughout the Hammerstein Ballroom, damage certainly done to the man opposing Johnny Gargano tonight and Nathan Frazier. And now Nathan Frazier with an own springboard. Big time Acai Moonsault on Johnny Wrestling. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum starts to swing in this semifinal bout here in the Cruiserweight Classic. Gargano just sending Fraser face first off the canvas. What an amazing tournament this has been over the last seven weeks. I want to thank you for joining us live yet again this Saturday afternoon. And once again, we will be live for the Cruiserweight Classic finale. And of course, feature the finals of this 16-man tournament and more next Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. You're not going to want to miss it. Gargano starting to pick up the momentum, pick up some steam, but just as we say that, there's Nathan Frazier with the tilt to whirl and the head scissors. Down goes Johnny Wrestling. And Gargano controlled the opening moments of this matchup. Frazier started to mount a comeback, and really ever since then, it's been back and forth. Has the momentum swung between Gargano and Frazier? Gargano just cradling him up that time. Tried to go low, Nathan Frazier had it scouted, could have been looking for the Gargano escape, but Nathan Frazier has done his homework, coming into this matchup and delivers that standing shooting star pressed to the rib cage. Now whipping Gargano off into the ropes. What has Nathan Frazier got in mind? Wheels are turning to this young man, he's looking to punch his ticket to the finale of the CWC. Well, could be looking for a possible Spanish fly by Nathan Frazier. Into the cover. Going to the finals, not just yet. Only a one count there on Johnny Gargano. But as we mentioned earlier, when Gargano hit that poison, Rana will say it again. Damage certainly done off the maneuver, although he did not hear a three. And Frazier going back to the well, sitting Gargano atop the ropes here. And a big time reverse. Mega suplex from the top. And that might do it. Gargano might be caught by surprise and again only a one count. Nathan Frazier's gonna be racking his brain right now. What is he gonna have to do to at least get a two on Johnny Gargano? Forget a three. Back into the corner. And Frazier trying to charge up a Johnny Wrestling met him halfway. Big time Lariat with some power behind it. An enthusiastic reversal by Gargano. And into the corner off the reverse. Oh, and I think we know what comes next. Slingshot onto the buckle. Nathan Frazier hurt, but is he down for good? Not just yet as Gargano not able to secure the three. Frazier survived, but for how much longer? Gargano unable to secure the three count, but can he secure a tap out? As Gargano locks in, the Gargano escape on Nathan Frazier. Dead center of the canvas, nowhere to go. Frazier taps out, and Gargano is going to the finals. Nathan Frazier gave it his all with the fatigue of this tournament and the wherewithal of Johnny Gargano. A testament to Nathan Frazier, but ultimately catches up with him tonight.
The slingshot did the damage. And Gargano put the final kill with the submission hold locked in and a tap out heard around the world. Here is your winner, Johnny Gargano. The whole shebang. The former NXT Grand Slam champion, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. One half of your Cruiserweight Classic Tournament Finals next Saturday afternoon. There's the 16-man bracket that became four but now becomes three as Frazier's chances fade to black. But who will meet Gargano in the finals? Will it be Dragunov? Will it be Ricochet? We find out next. Well, coming up this Monday night on Raw, the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight set for a one-on-one -on -one battle against an old rival in Cedric Alexander. Non-title affair, but who will pick up the momentum this coming Monday night? And also in your main event of Raw, in just 48 hours, the new number one contender for that Intercontinental Championship, that being the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And last night we saw the season premiere of SmackDown, but coming your way next Friday night, the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre is back in action as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight Iris Ace, J.D. McDonough. And last night, John Cena shocking us all, returning to Friday night SmackDown and staring down the United States Champion Cody Rhodes. This now free agent, franchise player in John Cena is back in action next Friday as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Mirror Than Evil, Braun Breaker. And next Saturday afternoon, it is the long-awaited Cruiserweight Classic Finale. It is coming your way live at 3 p.m. Eastern time from nowhere else but the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. Next Saturday, October the 7th, this is the place to be for the CWC Finale. And it's going to be a busy week for the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. He's got Seth Rollins on Monday Night Raw, and then he is flying right back to New York City next Saturday for this interpromotional battle against Akira Tazawa. And also coming your way next Saturday, high stakes, high reward, as it is a no mercy rematch. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. Chad Gable defeating Drew Gulak 48 hours ago in the season premiere of SmackDown. He runs it back with the champion, Santos Escobar. Gable Escobar, round two for the Cruiserweight title. All that and more coming your way next Saturday at the CWC finale. The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. We are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle. Well, next Saturday afternoon, Tyler Bate goes one-on-one -on -one with Akira Tozawa, plus the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line. All that and more coming your way at the Cruiserweight Classic Finale. But as we just found out moments ago, Johnny Gargano, one half of your CWC Tournament Finals. But who is going to meet him there? Will it be the human highlight reel Ricochet? Or will it be this man, the invincible Ilya Dragunov? Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. There was two Monday Night Raw participants in this entire tournament, Ilya Dragunov and Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate going out in the quarterfinals to Dragunov's opponent tonight, that being the human highlight reel Ricochet. Tyler Bate finding other success on the season premiere of Raw this past week, becoming the number one contender for LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship. Those two will meet for the gold October the 22nd at Clash at the Castle. 
But as for Ilya Dragunov, he has found success in the midst of the CWC. Success that has really bounced him back since losing his Intercontinental Championship back in July to the Defiant LA Knight. Dragunov has defeated Axiom as well as JD McDonough in this tournament so far. But now he meets Friday Night SmackDown's human highlight reel, the one and only Ricochet. This interpromotional battle is about so much more than just Raw versus SmackDown. It's about a spot in the finals. It's about facing Johnny Gargano next week and attempting to solidify your spot at the top of the cruiserweight division as the best cruiserweight all around the globe. Dragunov is locked and loaded. And here comes the opposer. The one, the only, Ricochet. And his opponent, from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet defeating Humberto Carrillo in the first round, and as we just mentioned, defeating Tyler Bate in the quarterfinals. And the one and only is also hot off the heels over a victory against the Nigerian Giant Omas two weeks ago at the SmackDown exclusive No Mercy event. Now Ricochet, back in action this Saturday night as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Ilya Dragunov in a matchup that could not see higher stakes. The semifinals of the CWC as this tournament has progressed over the last seven weeks, it all comes down to these very moments. Ilya Dragunov is ready. The human highlight reel is ready. Manhattan, New York has been anticipating this battle all week long, and it is time for your final semifinal matchup of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Dragunov. Ricochet, who meets Johnny Gargano next week? The bell has sounded, and we are underway. Should be a very interesting match off Dragunov, all about the imposing strikes that he brings upon his opponents. Ricochet, of course, one of the highest flyers in the game today. Really a contrast of styles in this matchup. Who's going to get the upper hand as it progresses, however? All remains to be seen. Johnny Gargano defeating Nathan Frazier about under 10 minutes earlier tonight. That's gonna do him well going into next week's battle. Shorter the matchups tonight, the more rest up you're gonna have, more energy reserved, less fatigue heading into the finals next week. Will one of these men be able to say the same? All remains to be seen as Dragunov trying to take the advantage over the one and only here in the early going. As we mentioned, this tournament has really been a bounce back for the invincible Ilya Dragunov. Had quite the year so far in 2023, winning the Intercontinental Championship back at WrestleMania. And as we just mentioned, losing the title back in July to LA Knight at Money in the Bank. But now Dragunov has really found some new feet underneath of him through the, through the midst of this Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Will that momentum continue here tonight? Or will Ricochet play spoiler? as he plays spoiler to that misstep by Dragunov right there. One and only has had quite the year as well. Number 2022, Ricochet was atop the Cruiserweight division for damn near six months, losing the Cruiserweight Championship back on January the 1st of 2023 at the Royal Rumble, and then soon after went on to become one half of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners as well as previously a reign with the World Tag Team Gold as Dragunov sent to the outside. Ricochet, full steam ahead. What a maneuver through the ropes. A senton down to ringside. And Manhattan, New York coming unglued for the man they call the one and the only human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. Ricochet putting on a showcase in that comeback. Just trying to mount some offense against Dragunov and certainly no waste in motion. Doing what he does best, taking things to the sky and not afraid to brawl a little bit if need be to wear down the invincible one. Now Ricochet going for a shooting star press, making a dose at ringside. And Dragunov trying to fight out between a rock and a hard place. Referees at a count of six. I'm really not sure what would happen if these two men were to get counted out. I don't know if we'd restart the matchup or if the finals would become a triple threat or if Johnny Gargano would just be proclaimed the winner. Hopefully we get a decisive victory tonight by a 1-2-3 or a submission hold. All remains to be seen, but Dragunov now, as we take things back inside the squared circle, delivers the high knee to the one and only. 
And Ricochet able to sidestep the Lariat there. The quickness of the one and only certainly going to play in as both these men going for strikes, neither of them able to land. Dragging off, as we mentioned earlier, a lot of strikes in the arsenal, and Ricochet's quickness may be how he avoids disaster. Off the spine buster, definitely some power in the arsenal of Ricochet as well. Ilya dragging off, popping the shoulder off the canvas. Now Ricochet going to continue the fight as Ilya dragging off down and out right now. Dragging off's got to start building some momentum, and there's a big time lariat. Looking for that a few moments ago, Ricochet avoided it. This time to no avail. Now Dragunov goes underneath. A little bit of power in the arsenal of the Invincible one as well. Into the sit down. Only a one count, but damage certainly done on the reverse. A great matchup so far between Ilya Dragunov and Ricochet. Both men battling it out for the spot in the finals against Johnny Gargano off the high knee. Will that do it? Gets the two, but unfortunately not the three. Again, coming your way, a part of the Cruiserweight Classic finale. One week from now, you're going to see the number one contender for LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship, Tyler Bate, in action. An interpromotional battle against Akira Tozawa, who I'm sure is going to come out fired up after he was knocked out in the first round of the CWC. Also coming your way next Saturday, the Cruiserweight Championship going to be on the line as Santos Escobar once again defends the gold against Chad Gable. Absolutely tore down the house two weeks ago at No Mercy. Santos Escobar retaining the gold on that night, but Chad Gable earning himself one more crack at the champ last night on SmackDown. Gable Escobar, round two, next Saturday, live at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, that's all a part of the CWC finale, where we will witness the conclusion to what has been an amazing tournament over the last seven weeks. Dragging off the headlock takeover, keeping it simple yet effective. As he tries to keep the momentum on his side throughout this matchup. Yet to secure the three count, of course, but certainly damage starting to pay a toll on the one and only. Ricochet's got to get going. He's got to think on his feet here, trying to find a way to change the tides on Dragunov. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide off that bare knee to the skull. The human body can only take so many of those strikes before you start to break down as Dragunov has really got his foot on the gas pedal right now. And Ricochet is feeling it. Ricochet may be hurt. Trying to start swinging. Springboard goes for the moonsault and nobody home. Ricochet was trying to mount a comeback. Dragunov not going to allow it. But off the reversal. Dropped down by Ricochet. Goes for the leapfrog. The one and only with the kickoff here. And send it Ilya Dragunov over the top. Beautiful counter and a comeback mounted by the human highlight reel. Now dragging off on the outside, trying to get his wits about him. Ricochet. These men at a standstill right now as this matchup continues to progress and Ricochet strikes first and strikes hard. No mercy shown by the one and only. Remember what we mentioned a few minutes ago, Ricochet is hot off the heels, taking down the Nigerian giant Omas. Back at no mercy two weeks ago. Now Ilya dragging off down and out. Ricochet hitting the ropes, looking for a little bit of that vintage human highlight reel action. A moonsault that almost nobody does better. You'd be remiss to find somebody who can fly through the sky as well as the one and only. Ilya dragging off may be surviving, but certainly not thriving right now as Ricochet has still got his eyes on the weakened opponent. But who is going to get the final blow? Who is going to deal the death blow in this match? As both men going for signature strikes and neither able to avail. And dragging off. Blue Thunder takes out Ricochet. Not enough spin on it as we usually see, but dragging off mustering up anything he could in that moment to survive. A big time shoulder block off the middle buckle there, off Brett's rope. Almost similar to what we saw in the opening matchup between Gargano and Frazier. Momentum starting to swing back and forth between Dragunov and Ricochet. And a kick out there off the stiff lariat by Dragunov. Gotta wonder what it's gonna take. The battles these men have been in throughout the CWC. 
Fatigue is going to start to set in at some point, especially at this late in the match. But who wants it more? Who wants to see their name in the spotlight? Next Saturday afternoon, live from Manhattan, New York. Ricochet getting the shoulder up off that German, but rolls to the outside, obviously hurt, obviously fatigued. But does he have enough wherewithal to get back into this matchup, or is he simply delaying the inevitable right now? Aerial attack by Dragunov. You see Ricochet not brought to his feet by, by Will, but certainly by force of Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov may have Ricochet hurt. And it may be time to deal the death blow. Another lariat there. For how much longer can Dragunov even keep this up? There's Ricochet. Much needed kick. He's got to capitalize here. The one and only collar and elbow. And look at this. Somehow, this late in the matchup, Ricochet able to muster up some strength. This is what the CWC has been all about. These physical battles, these back and forth collisions. The will to see who wants it more. Big time super kick by Ricochet. But elects not to go for the cover just yet and realizes more damage must be done. Ricochet is not slowing down. Look at this. Alina Del Sol dragging off down once again. Ricochet has completely turned this match on its head. And dragging off down off the apron. A hard fall, especially in deep waters in this match. Ricochet may have just not only turned the tides of this match, but he may have just found the answer to defeating Ilya Dragunov here tonight. Back inside the ring, but might have took too long as Dragunov finds an opening and elects to capitalize into the pinfall situation. Not just yet. Ricochet might have saw his window of opportunity close there. Dragging off with a strike, making a dose, making a trace, goes for the fourth. Ricochet avoids. Close fist of his own. Muscles up, dragging off. Big time kick to the side of the dome. Who will take on Johnny Gargano next week? And how much will they have left in the tank to battle it out with that former NXT Grand Slam champion? The opportunity to not only become the second ever winner of the Cruiserweight Classic and punch your name in the annals of history as Ricochet goes for the 630, but nobody home. And drag it off. Might have just witnessed Ricochet's opportunity go up in smoke as the crash and burn leads to a weakened opponent. And I'll drag it off looking to pick the bones of the human highlight reel off the misstep. He went for the kill with the 630 to no avail. And I'll drag it off. Maybe a shark smelling blood in the water. Headbutt takes down Ricochet. Into the cover. Drag it off is going to the finals. Oh, what a epic collision between Ricochet and Dragunov here tonight. Both men throwing everything in their willpower to succeed at each other. But in the end, the 630 that did not go Ricochet's way, as you see right there, ends up being his biggest detriment. The torpedo headbutt leads to the one, two, and most importantly, the three for the Invincible One. Here is your winner. Sixteen men have become two. The final two. Johnny Gargano and Ilya Dragunov. Next Saturday afternoon, live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, we will witness the finale to what has been an amazing Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. The whole shebang. Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano versus the invincible Ilya Dragunov. What an interpromotional Cruiserweight Classic final that is going to be next Saturday afternoon. Also, Akira Tozawa set to battle Tyler Bate, and Santos Escobar puts the Cruiserweight Championship on the line one more time against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, and please join us next week for the Cruiserweight Classic finale live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time right here in Manhattan, New York. Good night, everybody.
game pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.